Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Leaf Green. So, uh, we're gonna tackle the power plant. Now, I'll be honest, I'm pretty sure the power plant layout has changed quite a bit from Red and Blue, and I didn't really remember the layout when I was playing Red and Blue. So, uh, this is largely something I'm going into blind. But, uh, before we get started with that, I wanna say, yeah, okay, this guy is a trainer. Are there trainers inside of here? I can't remember if there are trainers or just like random ass Pokemon. In any case, well, this will sort of like show us what level our Pokemon should be here. Which, in this case, I mean, we're really overpowered, apparently. <laughs> I mean, if there are only level 30s here. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, Zapdos, who obviously we're going for in the power plant. I'm pretty sure Zapdos is, a uh, like, level 50 or something like that. And I just realized I've been talking over this part. I really shouldn't be, but... Oh, well. But, um... Oh, God, my brain is not working. It's finals week, and I'm, like, struggling to get this out during finals week because I want to keep my schedule up. So I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you guys, for the, like, two people that watch. Anyways, into the power plant we go. Oh, and there's weird music in here, too. So, uh, the big thing about this place is that, like, half of the Pokeballs are actually Voltorbs. Um, I really expected that to be a Voltorb. <laughs> so, whoops. Uh, if I remember correctly, Zapdos, yep, is right up there. They give you, like, a little teaser. So the top left is where we have to, like, end up. And otherwise, this place is just a huge-ass maze. Um, there's, like, a couple of items in here, a couple of Pokemon that we really don't care about. Like, Voltorbs, obviously, because we already have an Electrode. And wow, they're really low level, so I don't even have to worry about it in that sense, either. I really should have brought a Pokemon to do status effects, though, because I just realized Zapdos is going to be a pain in the ass to catch. See? This is a, a Voltorb or an Electrode. It's one of the two. Um, the Electrodes are kind of annoying because they will just do a explosion right away and uh, kill your ass. So take them out very quickly. But, uh, yeah, so as you can see, there are, like, random ass electrodes. We are looking for specific Pokemon in general. Yes, there are Pikachus here, but we got a Pikachu a long, long time ago. And I really don't feel like dealing with the Pikachus that are here. I think I might show off, like, one of each of the Pokemon that are in here before I start cutting out the random Pokemon battles. Because um, there's a specific Pokemon that we want other than Zapdos in here. And I'm wondering if it'll show up at all. Ooh, Magnemite. Magnemite's one of them. I don't think we have a Magnemite. No. Do... No. No, we don't. But we've seen it a long while ago. Now, the problem is, do I have a Pokemon that I... I guess, like, technically Machoke won't kill it. Although, I don't know for sure because I can't remember if fighting type moves are good against steel. I don't think they're... Oh, yep, yep. They're super effective against steel. Never mind. <laughs> I am an idiot. All right. Well, we'll try to catch a Magnemite. The other thing I want, I think, is in here is an Electabuzz. I don't remember that for sure. So if we do find an Electabuzz, yay me. If not, oh well. This is actually a pretty weird area. It's like, it's got a really high encounter rate, but it's such a small, like, space to actually walk through. I'm betting that this is another Voltorb. Oh, nope. <laughs> I'm just getting it wrong each time. Each time I think it is, it's not. So, uh, somewhere in there, sound desynced. So, sorry about that. It's gonna happen every single time, I think. Um, I'll try and see if I can't, like, resync the audio, but... There are just some things I can't fix because I'm not a miracle worker. All right, which way do I go? I think let's go up here. I believe there are items up here. 
You know, it occurs to me that these Pokemon are probably just Pokemon that like work here at the power plant. Oh, hey, another Electrode. And we're just like removing the workforce by defeating them all. So uh, if there's a giant power outage, it was us. God, we're terrible people. <laughs> oh no. That won't kill Kadabra, will it? No, it won't. Okay. Shit, though. Electrode is powerful. Okay. So, let's see. Up and around. I'm guessing the other one is an item? Oh, hey. Yeah. You can find Magnetons here, too. Um... I'm not going to try and catch one because I want a Magnemite and then I'll level it up myself. But they're here. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, in this case, it might be actually a good time to use a lower level Pokemon because it could probably actually do quite a bit of damage. Ow. Or die completely. Oh, come on. That's bull. Whatever. We have Vulpix. The fire type attack will uh, hurt it pretty badly. Honestly, I have no idea how I'm going to fight Zapdos. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have a terrible team for it right now. Because I don't have a ground Pokemon who can withstand, like, all the hits. Hey, a Thunderstone. Cool. That's always helpful. Uh, we go up here. I don't want to get to the end too quickly, but we're rounding it out to it already. I mean, there's not that much more of an area to go through. Honestly, the power plant is just one big build-up to Zapdos. There's literally nothing else here. Uh, okay. Are we getting close? I think we are. Shit, I only th I think it's only a few more rooms. Oh hey, another chance with the Magnemites. Uh Hmm. The problem is not killing it. I think if I use Vulpix and just use like quick attacks, I can do this. Hopefully Vulpix isn't too hard of a Pokemon. Or too like powerful. Oh wow, okay. Well it's one way to do it, but that's absolutely ridiculous. Well, I'll just have to whittle it down with this. Or Vulpix will die before I get a chance. Hey, snapped out of confusion. That's good. And hopefully Magnemite keeps trying to use Thunder Wave. Or not. Oh, I'm getting closer. Uh, I actually may be able to do this. Ow. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, like one more quick attack. I gotta heal it. Yep. One of the rare times I'm actually gonna heal in the middle of a fight. Uh, let's see. What do we... What can I heal with? Hyper potions. How much do they give? Oh, they're 200. So, I can just use the lemonade. Wow, and I'm running low on lemonades, too. I'm just unprepared for this place altogether.
<laughs> oh, come on. Gulpix, why? There we go. Last quick attack. There we go. Now I can use a Pokeball. Or a Great Ball or whatever I have right now. Yeah, I got Great Balls and tons of Ultra Balls. Those Ultra Balls are for, uh, are for Zapdos. <clears throat> I'm gonna need all of them. <clears throat> I'm gonna cry. Hey, got a Magnum Weight. Hey! No, no, no nicknames. Not while I'm playing. Never. Nicknames are the bane of my existence. Oh, sh okay. Well, here we are. <laughs> okay, um... Well, first we save. Because <laughs> I'm gonna be abusing this. And time to get ready for the montage of failures. Uh, but before we do that, where's a paralyze heal? Uh, do I not have a paralyze heal? There we go. I use this on Vulpix. Do I have revives? Yeah, I got some revives. And use that on my choke. I want all the chances I can possibly get to bring down Zapdos's HP. The good thing is, I don't believe Zapdos has, like, a uh, move to heal itself. So, that's good. Um, but, as far as, like, can. Does you have anything? Oh, whoops. I meant to look at the next page. What are your attacks? Leech Seed. You have Poison Powder, which is technically a status effect. I don't know if I want to inflict that, though, because that could just straight up kill Zapdos. Well, I think this may just end up being, like... Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> Zapdos. Level 50. Oh, why? If Kadabra can even survive one attack, it can use the Sable. Which would be great. Oh my god, crap. I'm okay with Thunder Wave being used. That's fine. If it paralyzes, it's okay. Um, not as okay as I want it to be, but, you know. Attacked. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And the last thing it has is, uh, I believe Thunder, which just murders your Pokemon immediately. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Crap, please don't kill it. Okay, that's fine. Really? Drill Pack? Not even Thunder or anything? Alright, well, there goes Kadabra. <clears throat> Machoke, I have the ultimate faith in you that you will do a very, very small amount of damage. Please, God, you only do a small amount of damage. Okay, that's fine. Agility. That's okay. Okay. Tiny, tiny amounts of damage. That's all I want. Use detect all you want, Zapdos. That is fine. I just need to get you to a point where your health is so low that you can't possibly... Ooh, I can... One more karate chop. It's gonna be close. 
and if there's any sort of critical hit, which Karate Chop always criticals, doesn't it? Never mind. Never mind. God damn it. Huh. Wow, that was really lucky on my part, actually, that Tri-Attack caused Paralysis. I believe it can also maybe cause, like, Burn or Freeze because of its Tri-Effect thing, but it did Paralysis, which is the one that's, like, the best. Also, previously, in the last attempt, um, Zapdos got into this, like, long loop of just trying to use Thunder Wave constantly on Dodrio, and... I think it's because the AI sees that it's a flying Pokemon, so it tries to use a thunder attack, but the only thunder attack Zapdos knows is, or electric attack that Zapdos knows is Thunder Wave right now, which is interesting. So you may get away with the AI catching itself in a loop that doesn't actually do anything if you have a flying Pokemon. But um, here comes the montage of like all the balls. I'm not using the Master Ball. Well, there goes Dojiro. <clears throat> All right, come on. Work. Oh, it's such like a small percentage. I'm just gonna have to use all the Ultra Balls. <gasps> Third try. Third time's the charm. Got Zapdos. Yes. No, I'm not giving it a name. There we go. So, um, I'm not actually sure if there's an Electabuzz in the power plant or not, because I can't remember. But if there is, I will come back and catch it later, because I don't feel like doing it right now. Also, also it's really weird that you get let out, like, right here on Route 10. And, um, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but that's all I can do for this episode, because, well, one, it took me a really long time to actually get through there and do that. So, on my end, there was a lot of time. But, um, I, I just can't do any more today because the finals, and I really, this week is terrible. Sorry. Next week we'll return with your regularly scheduled, like, half-hour episode. But for this week, no. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. We finally have Zapdos. And I guess in the next episode, oh god, we move on to the Seafoam Islands. My least favorite part of this game, by far. Oh, I'm gonna cry, guys. I'm gonna cry really hard. I really don't like the Seafoam Islands. They're really, really hard. They're annoyingly annoying to get through and get all the items, and then at the end of it, Articuno is there. So you gotta hope that your Pokemon are like in good enough shape that you can face Articuno and catch it by the time you get to it. It's a whole thing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and uh, next time we'll. Try and tackle that. See you guys then.